Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, uh, we are running out of time to, uh, to find a cure for the A virus. And, uh, well, it's time for us to keep going. Let's go. Map 6. Fractured Bouquet! Let's see. Alright, we've got Axel, we got Axel, we got Axel, and we got Axel. And they're all sitting on clone cubes. That's that's not good. Everyone, let's go. Forgive me. There. Let's zip sh formaldehyde. <laughs> Uh, let's see, do I have an, a plus 24? I do have a plus 24. Excellent. Alright, Artina, you, uh... We're probably gonna want to smash this block. So, it can't be used to clone a dude. We don't need more Axel clones running around. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on. But here comes another Axel. It's all the movie. Oh, I guess it is all the movie. Have okay. The weasel <laughs> can just jump right up without even having to use the cube. And with how high everybody's jump stat is, we don't even really need to be messing around with these cubes. Which is pretty funny if you think about it. <clears throat> also, yeah, if somebody uh, if somebody stands on one of the cubes, uh, even in the middle of their turn, they can just keep moving. It's pretty great. Awesome. 
You know, that's part of the magic of this guy. Uh, walking up to a dude with insanely overpowered characters and just wrecking their face. It's all in a day's work for a dude. Measle, you are really, uh, you are really earning your work there. By which I mean, that doesn't even make semantic sense. I'm just spouting nonsense! Ah! <coughs> Smash that, use it for space. SPACE! Righto, let's tally ho. Yeah, Desco is having none of your nonsense there, Axel. <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to do that? The situation must be rectified with violence. Violence against blocks. See zip shot and then a desco. Desco des that that the dead that that the dead that the desco. That ought to do the trick. Alright, so this turned out to be a pretty short map. You know what that means? Means it is time to <laughs> Time to reincarnate one of my strongest dudes. In this case, that would be Valvatoras. Reincarnate him as a distinguished. Let's uh, let's go to uh, you know attack thirty six. That looks pretty good. There it is. Some aptitudes up. Go to Kara World, Bill, can now be suggested. Yes, by storing up 99 levels with reincarnation, you unlock the character world. Check it out. Thousand Marmer. Let's do it. I'm feeling pretty confident. Whoops. Lord Val, we're now ready to access the character world. You can enter the bodies of your allies for the same purpose. <laughs> there is no good way to phrase that. Their hidden potential can be brought out. Alright, I'm going to save because I have no idea what I'm getting into here. Actually, you know what? Maybe it doesn't matter in the slightest. Let's just bring uh, Mr. Gensey with us. Along with the wind, whenever it stirs, it suddenly awakens sleeping powers. That is the Kara world, dude. It's a series of random dungeons. It's for powering up and raising characters. As you can see, uh, different uh, different levels of dudes can uh, enter the Kara world a different number of times. If you need to reset your account, just uh, reincarnate again. Hmm. 
We are going... let's see, which, which should I do? Let's, uh... Well, let's start with Sasha, I guess. Actually, that's a good question. I mean, Valvatoras needs some mana if we're gonna do anything, but, uh... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna grind up some mana for this dude. Let's uh let's check his placement in the Alright, now that bit of silliness is taken care of, uh... Let's enter the Kara world. Let's try and boost Valtorz's movement, why don't we? It's a random dungeon. There are ten stages, and uh, clearing stages uh, gains aptitude. On the ninth stage, there's a mystery room where you can improve the stat that we chose. If you destroy all the geoblocks along the way, you get a discount on the required mana. Each time there's a team attack or you use a skill, and even with each turn, the ground will break away a little bit. There's also good things about breaking the ground. Alright, let's go. The enemies here are nothing to worry about at all. Whoops. As long as you're even the slightest bit... Um, yeah, as long as you're entering with like a level 1 character, uh, things will be a-okay. Okay, let's go into the mystery gate.
Evil Area Developer. <coughs> Let's see. Looks like I'm going to need more mana to do that, though. But yeah, you get the idea here. What the heck? This is something. puppy out there. We're, we're babysitting somebody's dog. He's a bit of a handful. Woof woof. Puppy. Uh. So yeah, I know. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm getting interrupted. say it out loud because then every person on the internet is going to know her phone number. What? I'm recording. I'm getting Joanne's phone number. Ooh, wood giant. We got another one. I'll teach you a lesson. 